In this video, I will go over the process for creating this simple stylized teapot model while using ZBrush for sculpting, Maya for low poly, and Substance 3D Painter for the texturing. Alright, let's get to it. The first thing I did in ZBrush was to load a Dynamesh capsule template which comes with ZBrush and you can access through the Lightbox menu. I rotated it and decided to enable radial symmetry in order to sculpt the shape of it. Radial symmetry is really great for objects which are very symmetrical such as this one. It's also great even for less symmetrical objects and you can use it to add interesting details to things. I proceeded to use the move tool and moved some sections until I had the shape I was looking for. For the top, I also reduced the amount of radial symmetry in order to give it a slightly more geometric look and in order to break up some of the roundness which was first created through lots of radial points during the first pass. I also used the trim dynamic to make some of the top sections look a little bit less flat and not so smooth. When using the radial symmetry, it's almost the same feeling and satisfaction as using a real-life potter's clay wheel. As I added more details to the model, I also used clay polish in order to polish some of the details and make them look a bit less low resolution and with cleaner lines. I also used masking in order to break up the main shape and add a bit of interest to the model. It is important even when making simple models to be mindful of the details within that model so that in the end it looks interesting and eye-catching. When using masking to add details, it's also important to have enough resolution in your model so that you can get sharper and nicer lines. For the handle, I decided to append a cylinder and while using the snake hook brush with Sculptris Pro mode enabled, I was able to give shape to the cylinder and make it into a handle. The last step was to add some minor details in order to create a bit of asymmetry to the model. I renamed all the pieces with the suffix underscore high and exported these as my high poly. For the low poly model, I used zebra measure in order to get the low poly model. I exported these meshes and in Maya cleaned them up a little bit. Notice that for this video, I didn't really reduce the poly count by much, but I would definitely recommend spending the time to remove any unnecessary geometry from your model. With the low poly model ready, it was time to make the UVs. For this model, I broke up the UVs by adding some edge cuts along the lid of the teapot and the bottom. I used the unfold tool to remove any distortion to the UVs. I packed all the sections and exported the model as my low poly, while at the same time renaming them to use the suffix underscore low. In Substance Painter, I loaded my low poly model, and in the bake settings, I also loaded the high poly. I changed the bake settings to bake by mesh name and baked all my maps. For the material, I used the 3DX stylized Smart Material 2.0, link to it is in the video description. I changed some of the settings, such as increasing the roughness amount to make this look a lot shinier, and also changed the color of the model. I also experimented with the metallic values, but in the end I decided not to make the model metallic. I added some color variation at the top and the bottom by using the top gradient color settings in the material settings. I also manually painted some sections with a little bit of color to add some variation 
and make the texture look more interesting. Alright, here's what it looks like in a real-time render in Marmoset Toolbag. I hope you liked this video, and if that is the case, I invite you to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Also, if you would like to learn how to make a stylized low-poly environment in Unreal 5, I got a course for that in the video description, and there's also a preview video right after this video. Ok, thank you all for coming, and I hope to see you on the next one. Would you like to learn the process for making simple stylized environments from scratch? Well, you see making something like this is actually really simple. All you need is a 3D modeling program such as Maya or Blender and put it all together in Unreal 5, which is free to use. Hey, this is only a 45 second ad so there's not enough time for me to cover everything. Click on the link below now and I will show you the exact process I used to make this simple environment. When you click that link, I will show you the steps for making an environment like this one in very little time. I will be showing you the modeling, block out of the level in Unreal 5, and also how to set up things like grass and leaves as well as the final lighting for your level. Like I said, this is a short video so I don't have enough time to explain everything here. Click the link below now so I can show you the steps. Also, I don't know how long this will be up for, so click the link below now so you don't miss out.